use any of your rebuttal of 10 seconds, so this might go fast. It's uh, the second, first question for uh, Julie King, the uh, editor and managing editor and publisher of Canada One, the largest small business uh, website in Canada. Julie? Okay, so businesses will often do a SWOT analysis to decide what their uh, strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities and threats are. And while most of us want to focus on the strengths, it's usually the weaknesses that play the greatest role in whether we succeed or fail. So with that in mind, I'd like to know what you would identify as your number one weakness from the point of view that if you're elected mayor, you'll be taking over as the CEO of Canada's sixth largest economy. We'll start with uh, uh, Joe on this one and go down the road. I was asked the question the other day, and I said that my problem was that I could not, if I came into uh, Grass Prairie, I could not put the place on fire with my, my rhetoric, so to speak. But uh, I think that uh, the, uh, my, my weakness is that I don't know everything. You know, and and uh, all of, throughout my life, I surrounded myself with people who knew more than I did in certain areas, uh, and, and were smarter than me. And by so doing, I basically developed, uh, figure out what could, needed to be done and what best to do it. That's a, a, a tactic that I will uh, continue to do as, as mayor, uh, uh, because I believe that uh, we have an amazing city, actually, full of uh, very smart people, intelligent people, and the mayor's got to recognize that, and has got to be able to work with people in, in the particular areas to do it better. I think Torontonians want a foundation of a city that works, you know, mistakes get made, but every human being makes mistakes, every family makes mistakes, every business makes mistakes. Government's made up of people and therefore mistakes are made. The key is not the mistakes that get made, it's whether you learn from it. And I, uh, my experience has allowed me to learn from it and, and introduce uh, those elements which need to be fixed. Thank you, Joe. Sarah? Yeah, we were asked this the other night and my answer is it's still the same. I think my greatest weakness is that I, as an entrepreneur for 24 years, I've had to make decisions sometimes quickly. And I find that sometimes I'll make decisions quickly, but I've learned to surround myself with people that say, whoa, Sarah, let's rethink this. Is this the right decision? Some, most of the time it's right. <laughs> but some of the time, I'm glad I have those people. So I was mentioning I have George and John Tory Jr. helping out on my campaign. And they've helped a lot where I would normally, as a businesswoman, I'd do something a certain way. They'll pull me back and say, well, you know, this is the first time to the campaign, what about doing it this way? So I find uh, with that weakness, I can also create a strength by surrounding myself with people that have skills and, and have the, the know-how and talent. And when I first started the Women's Post magazine here in Toronto, I knew nothing about the industry, but I surrounded myself with smart people. And now we're one, we're, we're the, one of the biggest magazines across Canada for businesswomen. So it's about bringing the proper people in. It's about working with people, enabling them to grow and to, to really succeed at what they do. Okay, thank you. George? I think that I identified it the, uh, the other day when we had this uh, question on uh, debate on TV Ontario. And I think that for me, it's when I've settled, when I have my eye on the prize, that I have a uh, bloody-minded determination that, uh, that uh, comes across uh, and is, uh, kind of reflects impatience. And I think that um, you know that can cut both ways for sure. But I know that there are certainly circumstances where, when I've decided on the game plan, that my drive and determination associated with that uh, could come on a little too strong for people. And I'm a work in progress in terms of being able to uh, manage that kind of passion. Thank you, George. Okay. As with most people, my greatest strength is my greatest weakness, uh, and that is that I've never held political office. The strength is that we've got a broken system and we need a new perspective and we can't simply go back to the same old, same old, but it also means there's going to be learning that has to be done. What I've demonstrated throughout my career, though, is an ability to learn very well and to always end up at the top of the class, whether it was at school, whether it was as a business executive, and uh, I reach out and bring together the strongest, smartest people to get the job done. And the success that I've had in business and the success that I've had in the not-for-profit is success that I would bring to the city because we simply can't afford the experience of what's been going on for the last uh, several years. We've got to break this pattern of over 100 years of never electing a mayor who was not a sitting councillor or career politician. We made that mistake in 2003 when we didn't elect John Tory, for that same reason, okay. let's not make the mistake again in 2010. Okay, thank you, Rocco. And uh, Rob? Uh, my biggest weakness, is no doubt about it, is uh, my belly here. I, uh, I, I, I can't push myself away from the dessert table, and I stress eat, so 
I, um, I, I have to try to uh, get over that bad habit. I, some people call it a weakness. I, I say it's a bad habit. So uh, I've been battling the bulge for uh, a long time, and I have to get this weight down. So uh, I'm trying, but it's definitely, uh, I have really bad cravings for ice cream. I just, I just, I love ice cream at night, and uh, before I go to bed, I need some ice cream. So it's, it sounds funny, but it's, uh, it's, it's a weakness, and I have to overcome it. Thank you.